Hi again, welcome to our Buffs recap here at 850KOA.com. Along with Larry Zimmer, I'm Mark Johnson. 45 to 2. The Buffaloes fall to 1 and 7 of the season, 0 and 4 in Pac 12 plays. They lose to the ninth rated Ducks. Zim, I got to be honest with you. I'm getting to the point, I'm not sure what to say in our recaps any longer. But uh, this thing was about as dominating a performance as we've seen in a long time by one team over another. I can say one positive thing. What's the that? Buffaloes weren't shut out. <laughs> they weren't. They got a safety. They got a safety. Because of a bonehead play by Cliff Harris, the <laughs> return man, uh, by the Oregon Ducks, who uh, over the shoulder catch the five into the end zone, Terrell Smith with the safety tackle in the third. But other than that, it was 45 nothing until that safety. Yeah, th this, uh, y you know, talking to some of the guys down in the locker room and say it's so tough when you get behind. <clears throat> we want to run the football, and that's what our game plan says. Uh, same thing that happened last week. Right. First four times Oregon had the ball, just like Washington, first four times, you know, they go down and score, and suddenly you got to throw your game plan out the window. You, you know, you've got to really uh, take chances and try to score points, and this team just isn't good enough to do that. This injury issue the Buffaloes are having has become surreal at this point it in really time. Has. But it, it's no longer, and you and I talked about this in the postgame at 850K, it, it's no longer a freak rash of injuries. <laughs> this is a team that's had some of those, but it's getting physically beaten at this point right. in time. And again tonight, two more of the top players go down for the Buffaloes on the defensive side. Safety Anthony Perkins, one of the captains, he goes down with an ankle injury. It looks like quarterback Tyler Hansen, senior, also. So one of the captains goes down with a concussion. He may or may not be back next week at Arizona State. I did talk to Tyler uh, <clears throat> outside, and uh, Tyler said it looks like he said I'm fine. First of all, he said, <laughs> "Of course he did." <laughs> but I, I wasn't. He said, I, "I admit that I was out of it for a while." Right. But he said it's probably not going to be able to play next week. All right. uh, that was that was Tyler saying that. He said, uh, "I'm not counting it out, but probably not." We got nothing official on him. However, right. Chris Lewis in the sideline said as he's walking by him with the trainer going back to the locker room turned the game he turned to the trainer and said where are we going so that's not necessarily a good sign listen the, the stark reality of what we're talking about here what we're seeing this season with a one and seven football team it's injuries yes but there's there's such a void of talent on this team compared to the teams they are playing it's it's uh, I, I'm not sure how you overcome that certainly this season it's going to take a year or two and it's a physical talent too we've talked about that that every week uh, Colorado's looking at 300 pound 325 pound in one case 331 Right. at uh, Oregon and uh, Colorado doesn't have that kind of size up front either on offense or defense and as you said they're getting beat up physically it, it, th that kind of thing takes its toll particularly when you don't have a respite it's uh, you know every week every week for 13 straight weeks. Buffs great Chris Brown was with us in the second quarter and I, I guess uh, he's a glass half full guy like like we are as yeah. well I guess he said well maybe when you look at some of these young guys getting some playing time at least there's some development maybe happening and John every talked to us in the post game about okay now let's evaluate and see which guys are going to show the greatest heart and greatest right. character down the stretch and I think that's what he's got to do you, you, you put the guys out there who want to be out there and uh, I, this program is still in the, going in the right direction yeah. they've got the right guy ahead of it they've got the right uh, coaches in place and all of you know, all we can ask for from the fans is to be patient and it's not going to be easy next week. They're on the road down in Tempe against the Sun Devils of Arizona State, a top 25 team. It's a 4.30 Mountain Time kickoff. Zim and I will hit the air at 2.35 of the Buffalo Stampede Network affiliates pick up at 3.05. And then it's the Buffs and the Sun Devils down in the desert. Tough one, though, today. Homecoming 2011 goes 45-2 in favor of the ninth-rated Ducks. For Larry Zimmer and Mark Johnson, thanks for joining us at our Buffs Recap here on 850KOA.com.